Okay, so we had some fun doing this because this is one of the things at the end of uh, Halloween that I dread is all the candy left over because I shouldn't be eating in the first place. And uh, between putting it in the freezer and me and the kids just chowing on it, uh, we come up with some pretty neat ideas to change mm -hmm. it up a little bit. So what I've done here is um, I got all my favorite candies, with Kit Kats, Milky Ways, Reese's, Twix. And what I did was I made brownies. So what I did was I chopped up some of the leftover candy and I put them in the middle of the brownie mix. Oh. And then I baked them up. And I make little uh, brownie cupcakes so they're just easier to take and eat on the go. And yeah. I can eat them real quick and nobody sees it, that I cut it out of the pan, which is really fun. And it saves my wife from giving me a hard time. Um, <laughs> what I made over here, which is really great, is some uh, Halloween bark. Oh, my. And that's what we're going to do a demo on today. And these are great because not only can you utilize a lot of your leftover candy, but if you get a tin or some bags, mm -hmm. you actually put them in and Thanksgiving's coming, you can bring them to guests' house and just kind of have a little something for the table after dinner. Yeah. It's a, a, little, a little treat. Uh, we made some, uh, you know, uh, boo strawberries. Uh, which I have to give Charlene credit for. She gave me the idea. And just some white chocolate-covered strawberries, oh, little uh, chocolate boo faces, and some uh, chocolate ganache mice, which are delicious, by the way. <laughs> and if you want to make them for adults, when you make the ganache, you can certainly add a little rum to it, and it's fantastic. And I carved a nice pumpkin for you. This, this is tremendous. Right, which I had, I had a lot of fun doing. I, have, have you always made your pumpkin sit the stem is the nose? I typically do, yeah. I do have fun that way. And uh, it depends on the nose, on the what type of personality I'm going to put on the uh, pumpkin. So what I did was I took all the pumpkin seeds and I dried them out. Yeah. And what I did was I made a curried spice pumpkin, almond, and bacon brittle. Yes, oh I did say bacon. Oh, my. But it's, it is really good. And we had a lot of fun doing that yesterday. And I enjoy making those because who needs to buy it when you can make it? Oh. So you want to learn how to yes. make the bowl? Yeah. All right. Let me uh, over here. And first thing we always have to do is put on some gloves because we're going to be mm -hmm. handling kit. Now you're going to help, John. All okay. Right, so this, is, this is the deal. You got to. All right. You got to help me out here. You didn't oh, tell Michelle. me that. Oh well, you know, little surprise <laughs> on your show. Never a bad thing. So what's your favorite candy, John, on Halloween? <clears throat> what's your favorite candy for Halloween? Oh, um, you're not going to believe this. I sure will. Candy corn. Candy Oh, you know, it's my <laughs> least favorite, so I didn't bring it. I apologize. I sh should have asked you ahead of time, because this would be great with candy corn as well. So this is really simple. All we have to do is get all your favorite candies um, that you don't want your kids to mm -hmm. eat. And you just got to chop them. And that's what I did here. I got some Twix, some Snickers, mm -hmm. some uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, which is my favorite, Milky Ways, and um, all kinds of stuff. M&M's, peanut, regular M&M's. And so all I did was I got some store-bought graham crackers because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just not that good of a baker to make my own. And all I did was I took some uh, dark chocolate, which you can get at any store, and some white chocolate. And I melted this in the microwave for about a minute and 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. That's really all you need to do. All right. And so what we're going to do, and I did keep it in water just so it would stay nice and, uh, nice and moist. So all you do is take all this beautiful chocolate and just pour it all over the graham crackers. Does that smell fantastic? Oh, you... Right? That is wonderful. I know it, huh? Oh, this is great. Mm. And just spread it around. Oops. You know, and the great thing about this, when you do it with your kids or your grandkids, uh, they have a blast uh, because they can just do whatever they want to it. Okay. All right, so we'll put this here. All right, this is the fun part. Joan, you ready? All right. Grab your favorite candy. All right. All right, whatever you like. All right, and all you're going to do is just start spreading it around and put as much as you want on. There's no no time to be shy. And the tough part about this is eating as you're making it. <laughs> okay. All right. There you go. Yeah. What do you think so far, all right? Those. Right. That chocolate smells so good. Oh, doesn't it? This is a really nice chocolate, too. We uh, we had fun doing this. Okay. 
a little Snickers because I am a Snickers fan. All right. What is it? Don't mind. That is Milky Way. Oh, that Milky, Milky Way. Way. Yeah. Which wow. I'm going to let everybody know is Charlene's favorite. <laughs> so anytime I think I'm in trouble, I buy her a Milky Way and try to get myself out of it. <laughs> All right. So last thing we're going to do is I got some white chocolate here. And all I'm going to do is just shake it over, just like this. And again, there's no uh, no right or wrong way to do it. You can use oh, any candies you beautiful. want. Beautiful. All right. Now, the only other thing we have to do, Joan, is put it in the refrigerator mm -hmm. for about an hour or two, let the candy really set up. And, and then you have take that. these, and they break up very easily. Thank you. Of those. Mm. Happy Halloween. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, is that good? <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, mm, the chocolate and then all those crunchy candies. This is marvelous. This is great because we're sitting there. You don't know to have a Kit Kat or Snickers or oh. Reese's Peanut Cut. You have it all in one bite. And wow. have some fun with it. So, you convinced me, Michael. Yeah, easy peasy. Wait to try that brittle. That's fantastic. I can eat that watching the game. I'm going to have every a piece of that too. All right. Good deal. Wow. So, want to try a mouse? <laughs> sure. <laughs> They're delicious. But now the mouse is what? The mouse is a chocolate ganache, um, a little licorice tail, a little almond eye, almond ears. Mm. Wow. That is pure chocolate. Mm -hmm. My favorite is, again, pull a little ramen when you're making it. Mm. No, just don't give uh, it to the kids at that point. So much for lunch. I know. Right? <laughs> we'll just sit here all day and eat candy. <laughs> Think Charlene will give me the rest of the day off? Well, um, let's see. We, I, should, we should, Charlene, you should have something. <laughs> you should. The whole team should come over and have some. What do you think? Tell us about your, um, the pumpkin bark. What's really? in that? So pumpkin bark is um, is a curry spiced pumpkin seeds. Mm -hmm. Okay, a little bit of almonds, bacon, of all things. And then what I did was I made a sugar candy, and I just spread it out onto it, uh, toasted the almonds, and spread it out, and let it refrigerate overnight. Good. And then we got this beautiful uh, pumpkin seed, right? Curry bacon bark. Uh, well, our, our program has to come to a close. I'm so sorry, but um, I want to thank you both for coming today and giving us some ideas of the good food coming for the holidays. And this was just great. And I want to thank our wonderful 919 volunteers and staff who made this televised interview possible. Uh, they did a great job. Next week, on January 7th, on Rack Live, Miriam Lasher, the RAC Liaison to General Services, is interviewing Stan Yeagle, the Director of General Services. And the title of the show is General Services, Putting It All Together, so be sure to tune in. Miriam and Stan always have interesting things to tell us. And remember, Cape Diem, seize the day and make it a good one. And thank you for watching. All right, what else should we eat? Well, we just